one thing about Mpumelelo Polose, that man can act, which is why he keeps getting TV roles. The problem is how to hold on to a job. Hey friends, do you know when Mpumelelo disappeared off to? Well, he got fired from prominent shows, picked fights with big stars, and disappeared from social media. Mpumelelo has been in over five telenovelas and was fired from three of them because apparently he acts like the TV acetaven. He has that do you know who I am type of attitude that no one likes. Uzalo. Mpumelelo was on Uzalo as a gangster. Although he was talented and did the things, he was a pain for the cast and crew, going around telling them, I get paid more than you. He was delaying filming and would disappear without a word. One time he was gone for three days and no one could find him. It said people dreaded interacting with him because he was always looking down on them and making himself feel important. He got to be too much so to fix the situation SABC bosses decided to fire him which was the time Gabashe was killed and even buried in the show but because fans loved him so much the Bring Gabashe Back meme was created. Mpumelelo himself allegedly went back to beg for his job and promised to change his behavior. The producers agreed and brought him back. His attitude was even worse than before but they stuck it out since the viewers wanted him. Then he resigned out of the blue saying he had found greener pastures. He made a few more appearances in season 3 but all people will remember about his time there was that he was a diva allegedly. Well he says he felt like at Uzalo he wasn't appreciated enough and he was being disrespected that's why he left. When he moved to Greet and Desire, we didn't even know he was going to be in it until we saw him on TV, no promo, no credits, even on the show, nothing. It's like he wasn't even in the show. Maybe it's because he was just passing by and not there to stay. Sources say they showed him the door for the same reasons Uzalo fired him for. The problem was his huge ego. Apparently someone told him he was the best thing since sliced bread. He allegedly didn't listen to anyone. He would come to work, be impossible to deal with. He was allegedly told to fix his bad attitude or be jobless for a very long time. Well, he took the road and made dust with the quickness. Imbel. You'd think he had learnt his lesson, but age is just too stubborn. He reportedly went missing from work for three weeks without any explanation. Of course, those delays in shooting were costing production company thousands. But my question is, since everyone says he keeps disappearing, where does he go off to? I, this guy, was he living a double life? His second problem at Imbel was with the show's co-executive producer, Leleti Kumalu. She would apparently give him orders, but because he felt like she was his equal, he would ignore her. Apparently, the two were frequently at each other other's throats and one day news broke that he had allegedly attacked Leleti on set. Of course he got fired. According to him, Leleti lied about him attacking her. He further says Leleti sent her husband and his cronies to attack him at work and at his house and that he didn't show up to work because he was concerned about his safety. He did tweet and said allegations against him from all these shows are lies and that these people wanted to assassinate his character. Even after all this, he went on to pick a fight with Tony Horohe, the guy who replaced him on Imbel. Tony had tweeted the following, I think your show, he meant Generations The Legacy, needs a language advisor. It's not clear if the actress is speaking Sesutu or Setswana. Let's respect our languages and make sure they are represented well on our shows. Clearly looking for an opportunity to give Tony a virtual slip, Pumelelo went on a rant. He tweeted, Morning Tony, I just saw your tweet about a show you say needs language advisors. I'm amazed at how you can attack other people's shows when you yourself need the same advice on your own current show. I'm Pumelelo Pulos, I have no grudges against your current show. My problem is with your statement. But since we are already here, let me tell the world how you did me dirty. I was a lead actor at Imbel when Leleti lied. At the time of my dismissal, you didn't even bother to call me and find out what had happened. You took out your best suit and jumped right into my seat. So check yourself before you go around attacking others. When you, my chief, are to be checked. Clearly was big mad about the whole thing and wanted to make Tony feel bad for taking the role. Well, Tony never bothered to reply. It has been more than three years since his last role and because the level is a very small industry, word is bound to get out and soon enough he will be a headache no one wants to deal with. Anywho, what do you think? Who was wrong in acrimony, Pumelelo or these shows?